Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you today? How are you today? How are you doing today? Good evening, teacher. I'm good fine. Evening. Great. Uh, did you Hi, good evening. Hello, Maria. Did you do something interesting today? How was your day? <laughs> it was a little bit complicated because in the morning I woke, woke up early. And by the way, I, I did clean in I did clean in my house. I have to to clean well because for the the situation. Okay. Uh huh. So and it's just that. Yeah, I know. For the because of this situation is that when you clean the house, you have to do it like very intensive. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Very careful and you have to, to use a lot of things. How do you say desinfectar? So you can say uh, disinfect. Yeah. Okay. Do you every part of my kill house. virus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, so a heavy day for you. Yes, it was. Okay. Well, um, but so you clean like that every day or every time to time? Uh, every day and sometimes twice a week. Twice a week, I think it's okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, yes. so you clean every day, but twice a week, you do it very, very, but deeply. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, nice. And the rest of you, how was your day? Hi, good night. Good night. <laughs> how was your day? Did you do anything interesting today? Mm, the same, teacher. I... I made um, accessories for the hair. Oh, interesting. Yes, and me distrae. How do you say me distrae? It, I think it's relaxing. Uh, uh, Maybe it's relaxing for you. Yes. It's and like I, satisfactory. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's nice. But you do it for you or, or do you sell them? I sell them, teacher. Ah, okay, yes. nice. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yes. And the rest of you guys, what can you tell us? Nothing new. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, hey, you, teacher. Hello, you got Oscar. A question. How was your day? Yes. What's your question? Uh, uh, my question is: What is the meaning for couples? I don't know. It's like a a home, a family. I don't know. Couples. Couples. Couples. Yes. Okay. Let me write it, and then you tell me if it is okay or use spell it for me so I can help you. Okay, so the word you're asking is, is couples? Yeah, that's it. Okay, couple is como o parejas, pareja, couple. Oh, all right. Uh -huh, pareja, o si yo le digo in a couple of minutes, es como decir en un par de minutos. O un par de veces, a couple of times. Uh -huh. Puede ser un par y también significa pareja. Uh 
Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm, yeah. Uh -huh. A couple of days uh -huh. is right. De días, a couple right. of days, también un par de días. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Uh -huh. So you can see um we made a we made a barbecue a couple of days ago. Hicimos una barbacoa unos días atrás, por ejemplo. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, teacher. Okay. I remember when I used to go out and drink a couple of beers. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, um, esta era la palabra, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Well, to continue with yesterday's topic, ayer estábamos haciendo yes, no questions, ¿verdad? And present continuous, yes, no questions, ¿verdad? Yes. Podemos hacer un par de yes, yes, yes. no questions aquí con los compañeros in present continuous, like, for example, uh, Mirna. Hola. Hello, Hi. Mirna. Are you... Are you watching TV right now? No. I I am not watching TV. Watching TV. Okay. Ask another question to another classmate. I just no question using the present continuous. Um no. Hoy estuve repasando las reglas, las excepciones que hay de la de los verbos cuando terminan en e, cuando terminan en y, y y cuando terminan en l. Creo que estuve hoy haciendo un repaso. Okay, so no no repaso lo de las yes no questions. Eh, sí, un poco, pero lo que ya habíamos visto más que todo, digamos. Oh, El, el, el, whose, house, house, en qué momento, digamos, a veces me confundo, por ejemplo, el, el house y el who. Ah, permítame, es, son dos diferentes, son WH word, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver esto. So, me está diciendo das WH words. Eh, me está diciendo who. Esta, ¿verdad? Who. Who. Yes. Y me está diciendo whose. Así. No. Who. No. No. No. No. No lleva la. Ahí. Ahí. O sea, esta solamente who. No entiende cómo usar who. Sí, sí, el who. Esa es la que, ok, esto significa quién. Quién, por ejemplo, who sí, sí, sí. is, who is uh, cooking now. ¿Quién está cocinando ahora? Quién, who is cooking now. Por ejemplo, por el tema del present continuous, who is cooking now? ¿Quién está cocinando ahora? O si yo le quiero preguntar quién es tu hermano, who is your brother? Ok. Ajá, eso significa who. Lo que estamos haciendo ahorita son yes, no questions and present continuous. Yes. Ajá, y estas empiezan con una forma del verbo to be, am, is, o are. Lo que estuvimos viendo ayer. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So, I can ask María. Yes. Is your father sleeping? No, he, he isn't sleeping. Ok. So he isn't sleeping, okay. Now, ask a question to another classmate. I just no question to another classmate. Hágale una just no question and present continuous a otro 
compañero. Ay. Yes, María. Ok. Uh, are you drinking coffee right now? Excellent. Yes. ¿Para quién? A Oscar, a Mirna. <laughs> ok. Give me, a cup of, give me a cup of, of minutes. Okay, perfect. <laughs> uh, this question is for Carlos. Okay, Carlos, are you drinking no. coffee right now? Uh, no, I'm not drinking coffee right now. I okay. am studying English. Very good, Carlos. Ask another yes, no question in present continuous for another classmate. Okay, give me a second. Eh, Jose Amaya. Jose. Kenia, Kenia Ramos. Okay, Kenya. Uh, are you playing soccer right now? No, I am not playing soccer right now. Okay. Okay, Kenya. Very good. Good, Carlos. Thank you so much. Continue, Kenya. Ask another question. Okay. For Dani. Okay, Danny. Danny, are you drinking soda right now? Ah, uh, another. I, I don't hear. Uh, okay. Very good. Danny, are you dancing right now? Are you dancing? <laughs> no. I'm just eating now. Oh, you're eating. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ask a question to another classmate, please. Okay. Um, Mirna. Mirna? Hi. Um, are you cooking now? No, I am not cooking now. Okay. Good. Continue, Mirna. <laughs> okay. No. Eh, Abigail. Hello. Abigail. Hola, me escucha. Sí. Yes, yes, we can hear you. Uh, are you sleeping now? I am not speaking right now. Yes. Okay, continue again. Abigail, continue, ask another question. Abigail, can you ask another question? Can I teach her? Yes. Um, my question is, to Maria Usman. Okay, Maria, ready. Okay, I'm here. Are you understanding the, in, the English class, Maria? Yes, I understand completely. Okay, very good. You're understanding completely. Good. So those are yes, no questions, and now we're going to practice it with WH questions. So remember that with WH questions, I already sent you this presentation. Esto es lo que empezamos, um, estábamos viendo ayer. Y hicimos unas yes, no questions, right? 
hicimos yes, no question con esto. Uh, y luego vimos otra presentación de la cual hicimos yes, no question. Y nos quedamos en la parte de las WH questions. Acá es donde nos quedamos ayer. Uh -huh. WH or information questions is basically uh, the same. The only difference is that you have to add a WH word in the beginning. For example, what? What am I doing? Okay. Si se fijan, la estructura es la misma. De la, la yes no question empieza aquí. Uh, yo podría decir, am I doing yoga? Am I doing yoga? For example. No, you are not. You are teaching English. For example. Ahora, si quiero hacer una yes no question, solo tengo que agregar una WH word al principio y luego la estructura es la misma. Por ejemplo, what am I doing? Solo que ya no podemos contestar yes o no, sino que tenemos que dar información. Ok. What am I doing? No, you are teaching, you are speaking, you are explaining, etc. Where is he going? Where is he going? ¿A dónde está yendo él? Where is he going? Ok. Who are you meeting? ¿Con quién te reunirás? Okay, um, right. Now, let's continue. They, uh, the intonation is basically falling intonation. What are they wearing? It's falling. Let's look at the pictures and answer the questions. For example, um, let's see who is there. I have her Emperatriz. Why are you studying English, Emperatriz? Uh, because, um, because I want to, I want to, I want to learn the, the English. Okay, you want to learn the English language. That's okay. Perfect. Good answer. Now, a next question. Where are they going, Nidia? Are you there, Nidia? Um, Hello. Hello, Nidia. Where are they going? Look at the picture. Where are they going? Hello. No veo ahorita la pintura. Oh. ¿Y, y los demás? ¿Sí miran acá? Yes, yes, I see yes. in the theater. Okay, uh, Luis Fernando. They are going to cinema. Okay, they are going to the cinema. Good. Okay, Luis Fernando, what are they cooking? They are cooking chicken. Mm -hmm. Or turkey. Or turkey. That's okay. Esther, how is he going to, oh, well, how is he getting to work, Esther? Uh, he's going to work. He's going to work by bus. By bus. By bus. Okay. Or train. Or train. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good. Now that you have practiced these questions, it's pretty good um, to practice a little bit more. Okay, in this exercise, we are going to fill in the blank. And I suppose that you have your notebook with you there. We are going to fill in the blanks, completing, right? So you have sometimes it's gonna be question, sometimes it's gonna be sentence like this. So you have to formulate them. For example, here it says, we watch TV. It's a sentence because I don't see any question mark here. So I formulate the question, well, the sentence in present continues using this word. We are watching TV. Okay, mm -hmm. now it says your classmate study and I see the question mark here. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. So what is the question here? And the answer is yes. Is he your classmate? No. Your classmate studying? Are your classmates studying? Okay. Are you studying classmate? Ah, aquí ver acá dice your classmate. Your classmate. Are your classmate studying? No, no, no. No puede ser are. Is your classmate? Why are your classmate? Why are your classmate? Is studying your classmate. El sujeto es tu compañero o tu compañera de clase. Está en singular. ¿Cómo está en singular? Are no, porque are es para plural y para segunda persona. Para la... Uh, si es he, she, is. Ajá. Entonces nos quedaría is your classmate studying. Uh -huh. yes. Is your classmate yes. studying? Yes. He is studying. Yes, yes he, is. he is studying. Ajá. Yes. Okay. Now, okay. Eh, así quedaría la dos. Is your classmate studying? Yes, he is studying. Okay. okay. Ahora, uh, number three. Vamos a ver. Van a ser. Le voy a dar acá un poquito de zoom. Okay. Y lo vamos a ir haciendo en el cuaderno. De la tres para abajo. Mm -hmm. La tres mm -hmm. es creándolos. Miss, I have a question. Yes. Um, why uh, it was is and not uh, are? Por qué es is y no are? Ajá. Uy, bajen ese ese televisor. Okay. La pregunta es por qué es is y no are. Que está hablando de una tercera persona. Ajá. Ok, tenemos los sujetos, ¿verdad? Los sujetos I, you, he, he, he, they. Ok. Con I utilizamos am. Um, Con tú, acuérdense que tú significa, eh, bueno, you significa tú y ustedes. Usamos are. Ok, con he, usamos is. Con she, usamos is. Cuando nos referimos a una cosa o a, a is. Con estos, we are. Us are y con they usamos are. Ok, estos son los subjects. Y también usamos are. Ok, así es como se usa el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Ahora, en la pregunta esta, en la pregunta el sujeto era your classmate, ¿verdad? Your classmate. Cuando yo me refiero a esto, esto es un possessive, ¿ya? No es un pronombre. A veces la gente se confunde porque piensan que es esto. You significa tú o ustedes. Pero esto, cuando lleva R al final, es un possessive, ¿ya? Tu clase, your class. Okay. Lapicero, your pen, ¿ya? Entonces, aquí me está hablando de 
tu compañero de clase. Al decir tu compañero de clase, me estoy refiriendo a una tercera persona singular. Puede ser él, puede ser ella. Entonces, por eso usé is en la pregunta. Me refiero a una tercera persona en singular. Your classmate, singular. Y la, el verbo que teníamos era study. Hago la pregunta. Is your classmate study? Si yo me refiriera acá, dijera plural. Your classmates, ahí sí estaría tus compañeros de clase, tus compañeras de clase. Me refiero a ellos, a un plural. Entonces, cuando es plural, utilizamos are. Are your classmates studying? Entonces, a eso, no sé si lo que le confundió fue esto. Sí, ajá, eso. Ajá. Thank you, Miss. Ok, es que eso tiende a confundir porque a veces vemos esto y lo asociamos con un pronombre personal, pero el pronombre personal no lleva R. Cuando lleva R es porque es un possessive, ok, possessive adjective. Aquí lleva la R. Tu compañero de clase, tu compañero o compañera. Ah. Ok, ahora... Perdón que les quité el ejercicio, pero hay que aclarar dudas. Para eso estamos. Sí, porque a mí me pasó también el mismo problema, pero ya me quedó claro. Sí, es que esa pequeña letrita tiene a confundir por eso mismo. Ok, let's do the exercise. And if you have any question, remember you can ask me.
İyi nişlik. Okay, is everybody done? Not yet, Miss. Not yet, Miss. Okay. No, I didn't. Okay, finish. Yes, miss. Yes, I finished. Yeah, okay, teacher. Yes, I finished. Uh, volunteer for number three. Let's listen to Imperatriz number three. Uh, is the student making dinner? Excellent. Uh, well, but this is a question. Está excelente? Es pregunta, verdad? <laughs> sí. Okay. Y como oración, ¿cómo nos quedan? Steven is making dinner. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. That's okay. not a question. That's not a question. Good. Ok. Como pregunta estaba bien, pero tenemos que hacer la oración. Oh, ok. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, it's true. La convirtió en pregunta, pero le dio lo de incorrecto. Ok, como oración nos tiene que quedar, Steven is making dinner. Dinner. Yes. Now, yes. number four is a question. Let's listen to, uh, what, 
So here, uh, Victor, do you have the question number four, Victor? Uh, no. What? Abigail, okay, Luis. Why are you, why are you uh, laughing? Laughing, uh -huh. Laughing, because I'm reading a funny book. Excellent, uh-huh. That's the answer. Why are you laughing? Because I'm reading a funny book. Good answer. Uh, volunteer for number five. The children are playing a game. Okay, the children are playing a game. Playing Excellent. Again. Excellent. Now, number six. It's it is now. raining now. Is it? Uh huh. Is it raining now? Is it raining now? Okay. Volunteer for number seven. Um, okay. Uh, Can you? Is it raining? They are eating lunch. Where are they? Oh, yes, are they eating lunch? No, they are not eating lunch. Okay, good. And let's continue with number eight. Excellent, Kenya. Thank you so much. Number eight. Are the birds singing? Ah, I know it's a question. The birds are singing. The birds are singing. Uh -huh, the birds are singing. Very good. Uh, volunteer for number nine. I am doing my homework. I am doing my homework. Uh huh. Number ten. He's not. Sleeping. He's not sleeping. He's not sleeping. He's not sleeping. Very good. And uh, number eleven. My, my friend, my friend and I. Friend and I are, are talking. talking. Excellent. My friend and I are talking. Are talking. Mm. And the last one, number 12. John, John is not, not swimming at, at, at, at, at, at the beach. At the beach. Excellent. John is not swimming on the beach. Very good job. Now, let's complete this. Um, let's imagine uh, that we are... Okay, let's imagine the situations and answer these questions about you. It means you will answer with your own information. Like for example, it's four o'clock in the morning now. Vamos a imaginar que son las cuatro de la mañana ahora. ¿Qué estás haciendo? Um, I am sleeping. Uh -huh. <laughs> It's four o'clock in the morning now. What are you doing, Esther? Four o'clock in the morning. I'm sleeping. I am sleeping. Okay, good. <laughs> it's four o'clock in the morning now. What are you doing? I'm living hard. Okay. I am breaking. Having. I am getting up. Si se va a ir a trabajar y se levanta súper temprano, puede decir, I am getting up. Uh, or I am waking up. <laughs> okay. It's 8.30 in the morning now. Okay. What are you doing? I am working. I am, okay. I am watching oh. soap opera. <laughs> I am watching TV. I am eating. I am eating. Okay. I am texting. <laughs> I am eating to breakfast. Uh, I am driving. driving. Okay. <laughs> I am driving. <laughs> I am taking a shower. Okay. Good. Now, let's ask the questions uh, to different classmates. Let's continue with number two. It's 8.30 in the morning now. What are you doing, Abigail? No, number two. 
Yes, number two. It's 8.30 in the morning now. What are you doing? I am getting Getting up. Okay, thank you, Abigail. Ask the number three to another classmate. Let's ask mm, para Dani. Okay, Dani. No. What para are mí. you doing, Dani? And yeah. in the noon, I watching TV. Okay, I am watching TV. Great. I am watching TV. <laughs> the same question for another classmate, Dani. Okay. It is. Hola. It is um it's one thirty it's one thirty in the afternoon now. What are you doing? I am take a nap. I am taking I am taking a nap. Okay, good it is. Ask another classmate. Okay. Uh, Karen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number five. It's quarter to four in the morning in the afternoon now. What are you doing? Doing. Doing. Doing. doing. doing. <laughs> I am driving. I am driving uh, to house. You're driving to driving okay. to house. Driving. Okay. Ask another classmate. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, or, or you can repeat okay, okay. the question so you can ask. Six. Oh, six. Six. six. Gloria? Gloria? Hola, Gloria. Hi. Hi. Six. It's five to your... 30 in the afternoon. What are you doing? What are you doing? Grand. What are you doing? Doing. Doing. Doing. doing. doing. doing. What are you doing? Actually, I do I'm sleeping now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Oh. Continue. It's eight. Uh, oh. Let me see. I don't know who's. You can ask. Luis Fernand. Okay, Luis Fernand. Or Nidia. Nidia. Hi. I'm here. It's eight, eight o'clock in the evening now. What are you doing? I'm taking English class. Okay, continue, Luis Fernando. Maria Guzman, it's 10.30 in the evening. Now, what are you doing? I am going to, to the bed for resting. Okay, very good, continue. Uh, Victor. Victor is eight o'clock in the Hello. evening. Hello. What are you doing? What? What? It's eight o'clock in the evening. What are you doing? It's eight o'clock. I am dream dream. What are you doing at eight o'clock in the evening, Victor? The evening. Uh -huh. I, uh, so, yes. A las ocho de la noche, digamos. And prepare for baking. The uh, I, it's in class. I am in class. I am in class. 
Okay, Victor, ask a question to another classmate. Okay. Cualquier pregunta de las que ven a la pantalla. Uh -huh. yeah. It's a uh, part to four in the afternoon. What are you doing? Yeah. Uh, Ken. Hola. Hola. Gloria Palma. Okay, Gloria. The quarter to four in the afternoon. Um, I'm making lunch. I'm making lunch. For the next day? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At quarter to four in the afternoon, you make lunch. Okay. Yes, it sometimes happens. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, ¿y por qué dice 10 y es evening, no night? ¿A dónde? En las preguntas ahí decía, por eso me confundí un poco, dice 10.30 in the evening, son las 10 y media. Yes. Uh-huh. In the evening. So you can uh -huh. say night and evening and it's okay. So puede decir night or evening. Lo que no podemos hacer es saludar. Uh, uh, como a esta hora tenemos la clase y podemos okay. decir it's ahorita son las ocho, digamos son las ocho de la noche. So you can say it's 8 p.m. It's 8 at night. It's Eight in the evening y no hay problema. A donde sí se hace una diferencia entre evening y night es con los saludos. Por ejemplo, empezamos la clase, es de noche, decimos good evening, ¿verdad? Estamos saludando, good evening. Llegamos a una casa, si usted llega a una casa y son las 10 de la noche, pero usted va llegando, va a saludar. Entonces es good evening. Ya cuando nos retiramos, good night. Uh -huh. Como para despedirse, eh, despedida por la noche es good night. Bien, bien. Uh -huh. ya, sí. Sí, sí, sí. Y si se dice al, al llegar, está malo. Si se dice good night al llegar, no. Uh, no es correcto. O sea, le entiende. Se entiende, pero no es lo correcto. Yeah. Uh -huh. El good night es nada más para despedirse por la noche. Ya me voy a dormir, good night. Terminó la clase, good night. Ya me voy vecina, gracias por la azúcar y el café, good night. Uh -huh. <risa> Así, despedido. Uh -huh. Pero saludar de entrada, good night, no es correcto. Se dice good evening, aunque sean las 10 de la noche. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ahí está, siempre aprendemos algo nuevo. <ríe> Para eso estamos, los que ya tienen el diploma y siguen en clases, felicidades. <ríe> sí, es que ya ahorita ya solo veo 16, cuando siempre habían 21, 22. Bueno, Carla no está porque dijo que estaba trabajando, lo que ha pesado ahora. Y los demás no sé. Pero aunque ya tengan el diploma, sigan en clases, hombre, que algo se aprende. <ríe> Sí. Ok. Um, we have another exercise. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio más que es intonation. Intonation. Let's, I'm going to share the screen with you. Ok. And this is in the platform. Esto está en la plataforma si lo quieren chequear. That's intonation. Uh, it says, listen and practice and notice that the statements usually have falling intonation. Las oraciones regularmente tienen entonación que se conoce como falling intonation. Falling quiere decir que va decreciendo, va cayendo. Okay. 
Escuchen cómo es esto. Acá donde está la flechita es donde ya empieza a caer la entonación. Uh -huh. Let's listen. Page 31, exercise 4, pronunciation. Intonation in statements. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice that statements usually have falling intonation. He's traveling in the Amazon. She's working on a very secret project. Mm -hmm. Let's listen one more time. Page 31, exercise 4. Le voy a poner pausa, ponen atención cómo va cayendo y luego la vamos a repetir cuando haga. Pronunciation. Intonation in statements. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice that statements usually have falling intonation. He's traveling in the Amazon. He's traveling in the traveling Amazon. The Amazon. He's traveling in the Amazon. Hey, very good. Well done. She's working on a very secret project. Uh -huh. She's working on a very secret project. Okay, so that's about intonation. Uh, remember that mañana es el último día para inscribirse, ¿verdad? Su siguiente módulo. Así es que hay que apurarse con los papeles. Eh, cualquier inconveniente pueden comunicarse con Davis, con Jonathan. Ahí están los chicos siempre para apoyarles. Eh, pueden escribir en el grupo. Eh, recuerden, mañana es último día. Tienen que tener por lo menos el 80% de la plataforma completa también para poder inscribirse. Así es que ahí estamos para apoyarles. Y cualquier duda, pregunta, problema, dificultad, escríbanos para poder ayudarles. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for joining today's section. See you tomorrow. Eh, no sé si Bye. tienen otro tema. Mañana terminamos la sección 5 con quantifiers, typical families, la lectura. Y vamos a ver, solo tengo, do, me han dicho demonstrative y lecturas para comprender. Demonstrative, lecturas, para repasar. ¿Algo otro tema que tengan? Ok, mm -hmm. si no lo tienen en mente ahorita, me lo pueden decir mañana también si hay algo otro tema. ¿Sí? Y así el jueves hacemos repaso. Mañana terminamos la sección 5, empezamos repaso y también el jueves será de repaso para que puedan hacer también su final test ya sin, sin, sin consultar al libro, <ríe> a las notas, a los apuntes. ¿Cuándo terminamos? Okay. Este jueves terminan las clases en línea. Yeah, yeah. Pasado mañana. Sí, pasado mañana. La inscripción la... termina mañana. Sí. ¿Y la plataforma, teacher, hasta cuándo tenemos para completarlo? Normalmente la dejan hasta el domingo. Terminamos clases el jueves, la dejan habilitada hasta el domingo. Uh -huh. De acuerdo. Y una consulta más, perdón, que me ha dado un poco preguntón. Fíjese que estaba viendo algunas secciones o algunos puntos que pedían poner una pregunta en, el, en la parte de discusión. Eso no es calificado, ¿verdad? No, no, la, eso no, no es calificable. Pero como práctica. Es solo como práctica, porque de repente nosotros vemos y vemos si lo están haciendo bien o si hay errores, ahí nos agarramos para algún repaso también. Pero no es calificable. Hey, teacher. Okay. See you tomorrow. Thank you for clicking. Now, ahora sí, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Take care. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.